If you're interested in running a coil shock, but not quite stoked on dropping five or 600 bucks for one, well, we might just have your golden ticket. I'm Mike from The Lost Co, and in this video, we're gonna talk about our favorite affordable coil shock, the Marzocchi Bomber CR. Marzocchi as a brand aims to create simple and affordable suspension that's straight up ready to take a beating right out of the box. And that Bomber CR rear shock matches those exact principles. Now there's three main selling points to this rear shock. We've got simplicity, rideability, and affordability. Now first, let's talk about the simplicity. This is an easy to set up and easy to live with rear shock. It's got a straightforward set of adjustments with just low speed compression and low speed rebound. This shock is going to be way, way easier to set up than something else with a more complex set of adjustments like the Fox DHX2 or Cane Creek DB, which has high speed compression, low speed compression, high speed rebound, low speed rebound, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of adjustments. Simply install the Bomber CR in your bike, adjust the spring's preload to adjust your sag, set the rebound halfway and the compression wide open, and you're on your way. Then just ride the bike, figure out your ideal rebound speed, and then add compression one click at a time to firm things up to where you like it, and boom, setup is done. It'll probably take just two or three rides to get this shock set up, while you might be fiddling with a Fox DHX2 for several weeks to get it dialed in. There's no climb switch, but adding low speed compression will stiffen the shock up enough to give you a decent pedaling platform. This isn't really a negative factor these days since modern bikes pedal so well, and I barely ever use a lockout switch when I have one anyways. So if you'd rather spend your time actually riding your bike instead of making small little adjustment tweaks, then you are gonna love the Bomber CR. All right, now let's talk about how this thing rides. Performance wise, the Bomber CR is a smooth running shock which offers a plush, consistent feeling which is sure to make most riders very happy. Will a more high end and more expensive shock feel more precise and overall better? Yep. Maybe, but that just depends on how much of a bike nerd you are. And if you're not super in tune with suspension settings and what these little knobs actually do and what to do with them, then there's a good chance that your setup on your high-end shock is just gonna be hindering the performance of your expensive rear shock. With the Bomber CR, there's less room for error in setup, and personally, I'd rather have a properly set up Bomber CR than a poorly set up high-end shock any day. But overall, the Bomber CR rides pretty freaking good to make most riders satisfied, especially after they see how much money they saved. If your bike's stock shock is an inline design and doesn't have a piggyback or reservoir, then just moving up to a piggyback shock alone is going to make a huge difference in performance from heat management and oil flow. And of course, coil shocks will offer better sensitivity and small bump compliance over an air shock. If you're switching from an air shock, you'll immediately notice how much traction your rear tire will gain since the rear end of your bike will feel more like it's glued to the ground instead of skipping over little bumps. Also, your bike will feel more plush since coil shocks have less seals and less stiction than air shocks. The Bomber CR offers all of those characteristics at a low price and offers enough adjustment to adapt to whatever type of terrain you're riding. I've got the Bomber CR on this Da Vinci Troy set up perfectly for our style of riding in Bellingham. We've got a little bit of compression added and the rebound is a little bit on the fast side. Our trails are typically high speed but aren't very rough, so this setup helps me pump, carry speed, ride higher in the travel and retain that poppy, lively feeling. However, if you live in a place with more chunky rocks like Southern California or Colorado, well, you can set up the shock to ride exactly how you need it, open up that compression a little bit, slow down the rebound, and you're gonna have this thing absorbing every little bump and sticking to the ground like glue. Also, coil shocks offer better consistency over air shocks, so if you're riding long descents, the Bomber CR should feel the exact same from the top of the mountain as it does at the bottom with little to no fade in performance. Okay, the Bomber CR is simple and rides good. How much does this thing cost? Plain and simple, the Bomber CR is much more affordable than other popular coil shocks. The Cane Creek DB inline coil is 460 plus a spring. The Rock Shocks Super Deluxe Ultimate coil is 549 plus a spring. The DVO Jade X is 550 plus a spring. The Fox DHX2 is 639 plus a spring. And the Push 11.6 is a whopping $1,200. The Marzocchi Bomber CR, however, is 299 bucks. It's 299 bucks. 
Top this thing off with a spring of your choice, and you've got a rear coil shock that costs less than half of some of the other popular options. The standard seal spring is 30 bucks, or go with the Fox SLS spring, which will drop right on there, or a progressive MRP or Cane Creek spring for 130 bucks. We always recommend starting with those cheap standard steel springs for 30 bucks to make sure that the spring rate that you're running for you and your bike is correct. And then later down the line, if you find that that is the correct spring rate that you'd like to run, then you can spend a little bit of extra money and get a little bit nicer spring, which is gonna be either lighter or progressive. Also for 329 bucks out the door, this is gonna be an amazing choice for those customers that are coming into our shop with a rear shock that's just totally blown out and it's gonna cost 200 plus dollars to fix it. So instead of investing into an old shock with a questionable future, slap one of these brand new Bomber CRs on there for around 300 bucks and you got yourself a brand new shock. This is also a great option if you're on the road traveling and blow up your shock halfway through the road trip and you can't find anyone to get your shock in for service quickly. Simply grab one of these Bomber CRs, throw it on your bike and fix your broken shock later. Got a trip to the bike park planned? Throw a Bomber CR on your bike, save your trail shock from blowing up in the park and have insanely better performance while doing so. The Bomber CR is actually about 15% lighter than the Fox DHX2 with a spring, so if you do go with a lightweight spring like the Fox SLX, then you'll have a lighter shock. Also worth mentioning is that Fox owns and manufactures all of Marzocchi's parts, so you get that high quality control and customer support of a company like Fox, but with the burly freeride spirit of Marzocchi. This shock would also be a great match for that Bomber Z1 fork up front, which also has that same simple set of adjustments and affordability. Well, there you have it. That's everything that you need to know about the Marzocchi Bomber CR rear shock. Now, what do you guys think about a $299 rear shock? Would you run this on your bike? Let us know in the comments below. If you have any questions about rear shock upgrades, feel free to give us a call at the shop, 360-306-8827, or shoot us an email to info at thelostco.com. Bomber CR shocks are available in most Imperial, Metric, and Trunnion sizes. So, no, who's this? These things are available in most Imperial, Metric, and Trunnion sizes to fit most bikes. So if you're certain that this is the next shock for you, click this link right here. Go over to the Bomber CR product page on our website. Order one of these bad boys up from us with free shipping in the USA. Until next time, I think we should go ride bikes because this bike is pretty sweet. What do you think, Alex? Yep, okay, let's, let's go.